Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a Fortnite video. This is the first one that I'm kind of doing covering the best settings in the game. If you guys want to be good at the game, if you want to be like your favorite pro players, Miro, Cooper, Booger, Clicks, all those kind of guys, this is what you got to run. This is a bit of a cooked one. This is what I run, but I'll also show some good settings that some of the best pros run. And minus my sensitivities are similar. I just slightly tweaked them to be more accurate to what I use. All right, let's get into it. Also, this is my map that I'm making. Essentially, once I finally get my creator code, I will release maps like this one and also working on making some maps from different games into creative game modes in Fortnite. So, yeah. If you want to see that happen, like and subscribe and <laughs> It'll get me a little bit closer to securing that one. Alrighty, let's get into it. So, my settings, and this is something that a few of you guys have been asking for. I run windowed full screen because I have two monitors. It makes it easier to do that, to just flick across. Full screen is better if you want better FPS and slightly less input delay, I believe. I have vSync off. If you ever have vSync on, you're you're a criminal it's ridiculous like it just is painful to watch just use nvidia's one or amd's one frame rate limit i have a 165 hertz monitor so rather than put putting it at 165 like most people would i put it at 180 because then it's maximizing what it can get out of the monitor all right and then we run Performance mode, all the best pro players run performance mode. DX12 is better if you want your game to actually look good, but you'll get about 5 FPS unless you've got a 4090. So performance mode is the way to go. DX11 is okay, it's really nothing special. Performance mode gives you way less input delay, way better FPS, and is better for some visibility things with the walls that you can run. Then I run a 100% brightness. Some pros run less console players. I think you guys run pretty much the max just for certain visibility things. But I just run 100%. Don't know if this makes any difference. Don't run that. Colorblind mode, Trinope 7. I've run this for probably oh, maybe four seasons now. And I used to run it back in chapter 2 a lot. It's just what looks good to me. Trade 7 or 8 is the way to go. 100% 3D resolution. Essentially, your 3D resolution is like how many pixels are visible on your screen. So if you have a lower 3D resolution, you can't see players far away as well. Alrighty, and then we run low, texty, low textures. If you want higher textures, you might as well be running DX12. Because if you want your game to look pretty, what are you doing on performance mode? We're talking comp settings here. Low textures, higher FPS, less input delay. Show FPS, technically have it off if you want both more FPS and lower input delay because it's something that constantly tracks how many FPS is actually being put out into your game and then showing that on your screen. I have it on because I just like to look at it. Don't really care that much about it my input delay. This really doesn't matter, all that matters is that your sound quality is low because higher sound quality for some reason increases input delay a ton. Mongrel said it three years ago or something, visualized sound effects has to be on. Has to be on. It's just broken right now. You have to have 3D headphones, have to have low quality sound and that's pretty much all that matters in sound settings. All this is just whatever you like. Don't play licensed audio if you're a streamer, unless actually it doesn't even matter anymore. Don't worry about that. Matchmaking region. Technically, if you set it to your actual region, so for me it's Oceania, or however you say that. Technically, if you set it to your actual region, there's less issues that can happen with your ping just spiking. I saw some stuff on that a while ago, but I had an issue as well that meant putting it to auto was gonna make it easier. If you have certain issues with your ping being way higher than it should be or your loading screen takes forever, switch it to whatever it's not on already of auto or your region. It may well fix it. 
toggle sprint gotta be on if it's off you've got to hold down your sprint button the whole time it's ridiculous auto open doors on that's so good for just getting the best drop when you when you have to open a door take some extra second kid just could just hit a headshot snipe on you game over you have to have it open on sorry mantle hold jump all this kind of stuff that's really just up to you guys hold swap pick up that's yeah you should know that by now you've got to have it on if you don't have it on it just causes problems toggle targeting yeah that none of this really matters this stuff here okay so disable pre-edit option if that is off you'll get less input delay so i'll switch that back to being off reset building choice don't think that matters Turbo building, it's got to be on. If turbo building is not on, you're an absolute default. Like, that's just not right. Auto confirm edits. Yes, I have edit on release, but I also have scroll wheel edit, so I don't have to worry about this. This one here, I have on. I can play without it, but it's just way faster with it on. And because I used to play high ping, I'm just used to having it on. All of this stuff has to be off, except the creative one doesn't matter and that just makes life easier chord replays all of this has to be off if you have this on yeah you can look at your vods just record your games honestly or and in the top corner there's a little code to check out your vods in create in the game don't record your replays it just ruins your game experience it just makes life difficult also turn these off these are stupid there we go keyboard sensitivity so most pros would use 800 dpi and about 6.5 both x and y i use 400 dpi and 13.1 x and y the reason why is because i used to use i think 12.8 on y this can make it just that little bit more accurate i know a higher dpi means less input delay it's actually better technically but i like to have that little bit more accurate sensitivity and maybe it's placebo but i've gotten used to it so this is what i run targeting sensitivity 43.2 i think that's actually a decent one from memory scope sensitivity shut up on uh I made that when I was like four, 15 or something. Just, yeah, chill out. Building sense and editing sense, I just have it that little bit faster. Don't want it too much faster. If you have it too much faster, it will throw off your aim when you're going for a shot. I found that previously, which is why I went back to this. This stuff should probably be off if you're playing keyboard and mouse, but it actually no if you're switching to controller it should be off if you always play keyboard and mouse whack both of them on but it really doesn't make any difference i think it would just increase input delay having them on probably don't worry about it all right so i've quickly sorted out my keyboard movement because for some reason they took it off keyboard movement also sorry if my webcam blocks this it's a brand new webcam and i've made it a lot bigger on my screen i apologize my keyboard movement is 57 for the forward 75 for the strafe 135 for the backward 135 for backward just don't change that these are the best settings this season it's changed a lot across this season of course with the weird ass movement they're the best right now onto my keybinds it gets even more cooked all right wasd for some reason it's also got the arrow keys don't worry about the arrow keys that's all that jump spacebar some people use like g or something it's weird sprint f4 used to be f5 but my f5 used to be like right here now it's way further away switched it to f4 switched my auto run to f3 used to be f4 same reason crouch control some people use other stuff control the normal don't be weird fire on your target yep that's always that uh that's weird don't even think i ever used that reload is r use so this is interact 
E or scroll wheel down. Scroll wheel down. It's so smart to have scroll wheel pick up. Wins an off spawn 50 50, maybe 90% of the time versus about 40. Harvesting tool one is so my pickaxe is number one. AR number two, shotgun is number three, but I actually use this side button here, that one there. Use my wall here, shotgun here. And you'll see my wall in a second. My sniper is in my G slot, because I just kind of move my my finger over here, hit the sniper, pull that out, bam. And it's really good. Weapon slot four, which is my SMG, is number four, and then V for my heals wall is this button here as I said front one on the side because I kind of just flick it like this when I take walls and it's really good you'll see it in action in a minute floor Q or X it's for certain tricks so Q is for most things X is actually I believe for no Q is for things like 90s X is for double edits F is my edit down here Okay, so T for trap, that's pretty standard, just there. Change building material, that's pretty normal. Building edit, F or scroll wheel up, and that's for scroll wheel reset. So you want your reset building edit to both be a scroll wheel up and also your building edit to be scroll wheel up. It makes it so much easier. Uh, F1 to ping, pretty standard end to emote because I used to always flick B when I was trying to heal or something and then start emoting so I'll put it further away. I'll kind of do a quick little free build showing how that works. Wait. Sorry, I looked like a bot for a second there. Can I just alright so God, I'm so slow right now. Oh, it's because I don't have a gun. That's why. Guys, I, I know I'm I'm washed. Been playing too much Valor. I'm not, not good at Fortnite anymore. What am I doing? So I'm used to this game. than 10 ping helps. very good example of the sensitivity and like key binds guys Hi again guys, EdRH, just closing out the video. No. Hope you guys enjoyed, hopefully I covered all of the sensitivities, all of the settings that you guys wanted to see. I've seen a lot of comments recently, I'll put them up now, saying to show my kind of settings and my sensitivity and what I kind of run. I've already shown through some other stuff that I have on my desktop, but hopefully this covered everything you guys wanted to see. If you liked this video, feel free to like and subscribe, it helps me out a ton. 
on the road to about a thousand subs at this point, which is really cool. I'm already progressing away faster than I ever thought I would. And thank you all for the support there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.